guys? So today we're going to be talking about Teddy Bear. Teddy Bear has been pretty calm lately. And uh, if you guys don't remember, around the end of September, man, there was some crazy kind of hype around Teddy Bear. And uh, it looked like a bunch of people were going to become millionaires. I don't even know. Did anybody become millionaire? I mean, let me let me know in the comments below. I don't even know. I didn't hear any stories like that. But today I wanted to talk about the narrative that Teddy Bear is the new Shiba Inu for Pulse Chain. Now, a lot of people have been speculating that Shiba Inu has done wonders in a bull market. And right now, you guys know very well that uh, Teddy Bear has not seen a bull market yet, right? So is there a possibility that this is going to be something that's going to hit big? And I mean, just looking at the charts, it's looking like it might be. Uh, obviously none of the information is financial advice here but if you guys are looking at the chart right now you can see it pretty steady and pretty calm right but if we look at deck screener as a whole if you look at deck screener as a whole right now you guys can see that a lot of these coins in here in the top 10 are actually coins that are somewhat bullish in the short term except teddy bear teddy bear which is right now sitting at number six has been really fluctuating up and down but people are still diehard teddy bear fans so what this tells me is that a lot of these coins are probably popular right now because they're um talked about because of specific launches because they're like frequently used like for example pulse x over here that's frequently used usdl i'm betting that it's a stable coin type of thing that people want to probably get that to peg to one dollar which is right now at like 98 cents it's not that bad uh, hex is a pretty popular one loan i mean everybody's been talking about loan the last little while but now it's down 36 percent so i mean PUSD die i mean all these coins are very popular but teddy bear has been trending for the last little while and we can still see that it's number six right i mean at the end of september it was number one there was like the liquidity was like right now the liquidity of teddy bear is three hundred and eighty-eight thousand. it was at some point like in the millions right end of september it was in the millions and we could potentially see the same kind of numbers that we saw back then in the next bull market so for me looking at the chart you see this huge pump here like a lot of people got in here they made huge bank and uh, then there was that pullback and a lot of people lost interest because it wasn't the hype at the moment uh, the way i look at it is the teddy bear token has been here for a, for for a long time it's one of those coins that i don't think is going to disappear because it has a huge community behind it right and when i think about a coin that has a huge community behind it then you can see that even though there's not a huge backing by a a, a top developer or a top uh team that are going to take care of that project the community by itself is going to to rally the whole uh token uh, up to all-time highs and even more you probably double triple that in a bull market right especially when it's a meme coin with such a low market cap right now market cap at 3.6 million liquidity is 388 million right uh, sorry liquidity is 388,000. so we can still see that there's like 2,000 transactions a day on teddy bear which is huge right not only that but if we look at all these uh coins over here you can see that this one is teddy bear wpls but then you have atropa wpls and then you have somewhere else uh, i don't know where it is now but there's another teddy bear atropa over here number 35 teddy bear atropa so what that tells me is they're all coins that are going to help each other grow bigger and bigger and bigger, which is going to make one pump, which if one pumps, all of them are going to pump together. They're all liquidity pairs that are tied together. You know what I mean? So it's just a, a play that is obviously speculative, but it's a play that could win big, right? And looking at the chart right now, right? We can see the chart is pumping and then it went on a downturn right let's look at the shiba inu chart shiba inu it pumped and then it did a retracement and it went like that for a long long time right now we're looking at this is 2021 we're looking at all these months here retracement 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 guys notice what's happening here this is exciting to me 
retracement until a huge pump again, right? Look at this. Look at the comparison between this to this. Like if we look at the measurements, right? From the lowest point, which technically is somewhere around here. It did a 1500%, right? That means like a, what is that? Like 151X or something? That's crazy. Like to me, over 50 days, it did a hundred, a uh, thousand five hundred percent uh, increase in value. It's crazy, right? And it's doing another achievement right now, which by the looks of it is going to happen again. Same kind of pump that we had this time um, in the next bull market. And we know very well the Bitcoin having is happening in 2024. It's not a coin like uh, Teddy Bear is not a coin that. I'm going to miss out on, you know, like it's something that DCA your position in there every little while. And, you know, like if you have some money that you can spare, like 50 bucks here, 70 bucks there, whatever, it could potentially do a 10x, right? You could turn your 50 into a 500 bucks, turn your 50 into a thousand bucks. You never know, right? And for me, like when I see uh, these charts and how similar they are, right and when i see that in the trading um dex pairs right now on core market cap that pulse chain is number 11 trending all networks and all um uh, uh dexes it looks like it's on people's radars right and given that wait, let me make this dark again given that pulse chain has not seen a um a bull market i mean ethereum has seen a bull market Binance has seen a bull market, Solana, Polygon, Avalanche, those guys have seen a bull market, right? What I'm going to be focused on this bull market is going to be Arbitrum. I'm going to focus on Optimism. I'm going to focus on Zsync, ZK Sync, sorry, Base, Pulse Chain. These are some DEXs that are going to probably generate a lot of money going into the bull run, right? Um, you have to obviously do your research and see which projects are actually doing some good numbers. Um, I'm going to be doing some research as well. I'm going to go through all these chains and I'm going to look at the top five tokens in there and uh, I'm going to be accumulating for the next bull market. Now, guys, if you want to follow along, if you if you like this video, please give it a like, give it a, um, a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of Teddy Bear. I feel like we could see some great all time highs. I can, I can see ourselves double, right? I can see ourselves, like if you look at the, the bottom here, all the way to the top, over 11 days, it did some pretty sweet numbers. Like, like we can see that from over here, from the beginning of September till probably seven days later, there's like $10 million worth of liquidity that got into Teddy Bear. To me, this is small. Uh, in comparison to what we can achieve in a bull market, like uh, numbers could be crazy, guys. And this is something that I don't want to miss. So Teddy Bear is definitely one of those that has a huge community behind it that I feel is going to do some crazy numbers. I'm going to DCA my position in there slowly. Uh, and the, the the best time to DCA your, into your position in Teddy Bear is when you see a crazy retracement like that. Because once a lot more money is going to come into Pulse Chain, people are gonna hear all these crazy stories of teddy bear being the next dogecoin being the next shiba inu but on pulse chain a brand new blockchain i mean some crazy numbers are inbound so guys if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one